place to win. Whippery Road. Now, I haven't done this for maybe a couple of years. In fact, my last memories of doing this were after the fires 2019-2020. Now it's going to be after the floods. <laughs> somewhere. It's amazing. I remember being able to see it again after the uh, fires and now with so much wet uh, everything is very green and lush and oh there it is, a bit of river. I'm half looking for a nice place to stop and have a coffee. I think that is someone's driveway. You can still see the scars of the fire. And it's been flooded since. Probably by this time next year, it'll be dried. Who knows? <laughs> regular enough rain to just keep it topped up and ready to flood again sort of thing but the road surface is lovely still looking for a nice place to sit have a coffee wow there would be mosquitoes galore around that They love a bit of stagnant water, do they're breeding in oh. Glencoe Road. What's the sign say? Ah, forest closed, no public access. That's what it says. I thought that was still closed. So this is something I must do, this road, when I get a chance. What a shame. No entry. Big red side. <sighs> That's all right. And go around, eh? Yep. Got to try that one day when it reopens. No 
anything. Okay. Fair enough. Go for walks in there, I guess. by the river. I think we've moved away from the river now too. So it's just going to be a shady spot somewhere. If I can find one with uh, something to sit on and I don't know. I just keep riding because I'm enjoying it so but the, uh, the pull of the coffee is strong. This looks messed up. It was good to revisit Bungawab and Whippery Road, one of my favourite rides and uh, been closed for some time. Oh look the wind's brought down a branch. Just a little one. I can just go around here, but perhaps I could be nice to other people and clear it up. Catch you on the next one, and in the meantime, be safe and be happy. Cheers, guys.